Chair Gordon and Water Authority. We was told when it was being debated that the Carragundi Water Authority would be billed with water revenue. Well, I beg the difference. I have that notice in my hand right here. It says that notice of intent to execute tax supported, not a water a revenue supported contract and of a right to petition for referendum thereof. That's what we're doing. We're here. We have petitions going around for people that want to uh, exercise their right to vote on their property taxes so you can sign them and we can get it on the ballot. And I was appalled that during the election day, some, whoever is opposed to it had paid people at the polls to pass out cards that says, don't sign that petition. Well, this is America. We have a right to petition. It say we have a right to petition uh, for a referendum. This is Veteran Day, and they will tell you, say, well, look at the cost. If, if you do this petition, look at what it's going to cost us. The last time I checked, there was a lot of Americans died to right to vote. That we have a defense budget that's up with a $400 billion a year to protect the American way of life so that we can have a right to vote. And I think it's appalling that someone would go out there, pass out a card with a union bug on it that says, don't sign this petition because you, look at what harm you're going to cause this community. And I don't think this community can survive without having democracy in America. So, so what is it going to be? Can anyone tell me what it's going to be? It, it is some people here that sit here and debate it uh, uh, about water revenue. Is it water revenue? Is it taxes? This notice says taxes. I got a page right out of the Carragon, the water, uh, the contract that says that they're going to use property taxes. But yet and still, the public, the, the public is still being told that, oh, no, it's going to use water revenue. Well, we can back up and look at uh, how the city has been managed over these years. Well, well, we see that all of the money out of the water department has been shifted to other things, paying the green czar, paying all kinds of people out of water revenue. And do you think, and I don't believe, that going forward it will be any water revenue left to pay for that authority? You know, and it, we're here, we're starting off new, and I, I think it's an opportunity for the city to, to be managed right, but I don't trust uh, the, the idea of water revenue paying for that authority because it hasn't been managed properly up until now. When will it start? That, that's, that's, that's it. Uh, but I appeal to those people that, that want to have a right to vote, uh, to sign our petitions, come out and help us, because I don't think you can trust what's happening in the city of Flint to, to protect your property taxes or your right to vote on property taxes. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Mr. Alexander, Mr. Alexander, while you, while you take your seat, it's, it's my understanding that we are at our maximum taxable level in the city of Flint. Well, I'll, I'll answer that. If, if we're at our level of maximum taxes right now, who published this? This is what the notice is saying. Well, I, uh, yeah, I understand. I'm just, uh, you asked me to answer your question. I'm trying to answer your question for you. Okay. It, it, the it's, only time you would publish a, a notice like that is that you intend to raise our property taxes. Well, we can't. The law, sa the law okay. says that in order to raise our property taxes, the city council will have to put the referendum on the ballot so we can vote on it, or either we have to petition to do it. Right. So, so what is the intent? Mr. President. Yeah, Mr. Mays. Mr. Alexander called me during the election and he showed me the public notice that said if the city council and or mayor fumble the ball and don't pay the 
about $6.2 million a year from the water and sewer fund money. In other words, we take in, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, I don't mind being wrong, but we take in maybe $35 million a year in water and sewer money or whatever the fig is, we take it in. When people pay their bills, these high bills, these unlawful water bills, we take in X amount of dollars. And what that notice said when I read it was that if the mayor and the council don't manage that water and sewer money right and pay that $6.2 million a year for the payment of the Karagandi Water Authority, because it'll cost the city of Flint portion $1.2 million. See, in the city of Flint, you got to understand that the city of Flint sits inside of Genesee County. The Genesee County share total, including the 1.2 million, is 300 million. Some would ask the question, do Flint pay residents if they had to pay it? Because remember, if the mayor and the city council for the next 20 years don't manage the money right and pay the $6.2 million mortgage on the pipeline, the notice said that they don't have to come and ask you. They can just raise your property taxes to pay the $6.2 million or whatever. So what Mr. Alexander said when he called me, he said, I'm against a tax increase. I said, well... I support the water pipeline, he said, but I'm against a tax increase. I said, but I support the water pipeline because if it comes in, we might can get lower water rates. What I'm trying to say to people is this. At this period of time, we've lost so much of our democracy that I said to Mr. Alexander that if it requires 8,000 signatures from City of Flint residents. See, we got about, according to the clerk's office, about 79,000 registered voters. So we rounded to 79,000 off to 80 and said about 8,000 signatures in 45 days. Now, the last three days of that petition drive is Friday, maybe three, four days left. And I know how many signatures we got. I say we because we got three, four co-chairs who've been working on this. Bill, Exan Bill Alexander is a co-chair. Eric Mays is a co-chair. Michael Harris is a co-chair. I think Claire McClinton is a co-chair. And Naira is a co-chair. And I'm telling you, we got a bunch of staff people. And I ain't going to tell y'all how many signatures we got, but I will say this, Mr. President, and to the council, that when we met today, I said, and y'all tell me if it's wrong, if it is, then you'll tell me, but I don't think it is. I said that at this council meeting, anybody who hear and understand what we're saying right now if you want to get a petition from Mr. Alexander, get two of them, ain't but 12 signatures on the sheet. Get them from him. Get them signed and bring them back. Get 10 of them. But get that done. I advocate that. Now, check this out. I'm going to come to my office tomorrow about 10 o'clock. They've given me my garage door opener. I got keys to an office, and I think if you call me at City Hall and I'm not here, a secretary or something might take a message or it might go to vo voicemail. But at 10 o'clock tomorrow, tell everybody who want to come, and I don't know how you do it if you got a popular councilman and it'd be 30 or 40 or 50 people there. But you tell people at 10 o'clock tomorrow we're going to leave from my office with them petitions, and we're going to hit the bus station, the circuit court, the district court, and all of the hot spots that I know. And for the next two, three days, we're going to try to wrap this up, and then we'll meet and decide if we want to turn them in. 
Now keep this in mind to the council people who wasn't in the loop and the public. There's been a lot of money spent trying to not let us get these signatures. We don't know if we will or they won't, but guess what? I'm freed up now. I can help in my responsibilities now. And I'm going to say this. I think that we can get them. Because I know what we got, and I know what we need to get. But Mark, Ronnie, Jody, everybody I know that good, and others, is 12 signatures on a petition. Bill got some now. I urge anybody and everybody to get some from them before we leave. And then if you can't catch him, bring them to my office. Call my cell number. But guess what? If Jeff Wright and them, who don't want these petitions done, had calculated that it would cost an extra $30 million if people exercise their rights or delay the project a year, then they overlook the people in the democracy. See, the emergency manager said yes. The council said yes. But that's only 10 people. The majority of the taxes paid if the people down here fumble the ball will be out there. So remember, you got people who believe yes, like me for the pipeline, and people who believe no. That's not the issue. The issue is, do the citizens of Flint have the right to circulate and weigh in on such a $300 million project before it happens? And Jeff Wright and them, in my opinion, is wrong. He's a friend of mine. Don't try to take away the people's right take away the people's right just because you miscalculated whether they would do a petition. Jeff Nim told me that this is the first time in the history of a public notice somebody really did the petition. So you should have calculated the project later on down the road before you thought that it was started. Now check this out. If they fumbled the ball on the calculations of doing the petition like that, that's why I want to do the petition, because the voting wouldn't be to February's ballot. What else have they fumbled on? We will find out between November and February if we put it on the ballot, because we can scrutinize this. So I'm going to say to the public, if you really heard what I said, and you can help this group out. We all in here now. It's more than you think. Get some petitions before we leave. Twelve on the sheet, do them. If you need my information, 10 o'clock tomorrow, I'll be in my office. And I'm going to say to you, Mr. Alexander, and to the committee, I thank you. I've enjoyed working with you. And I say to the public, take this seriously because I'm an advocate for democracy. You got people who are going to vote yes and people who are going to vote no. And we don't know if the yes or no vote going to win, but we do believe democracy and the right to petition government and do this is important. So don't let nobody fool you. They don't know if we for or against the pipeline, but we know we got the right to petition and do government the way it's supposed to be done. And I'm going to end with this. If we was to get the petitions for the countywide ballot,